Hi there, Jeff Coughlin, editor of Scale Modeling Now. So welcome to this inbox browse for this new tool release from FX in March 2021 of the 35th scale Cromwell Mark VI. Um, and so this is a companion to the Mark IV release, which is also out now at the same time. And uh, certainly it's a, a great addition to the FX range and certainly marks a, a great adventure into new tool and 35th scale. So let's have a look at what we've got. Um, well, if you've seen the video of my video review uh, of the Mark IV, well, it's very similar, but of course you've got this, some subtle differences um, with the Mark VI, not least of which um, that gun and the gun barrel, which is, um, is is quite different from looking at it. And there might be other detail differences that you'll be familiar with if you know about your Mark IVs and Mark VI's. Um, so let's have a look at the plastic. Well, as with the other kit, of course, it's a new tool. It's all very fresh, it's very crisp, and it's very nicely detailed. I can't, uh, I can't fault it from that uh, point of view. All these separate tools, which look, look really good here, which you can see. Got this excellent MG that goes into the front with that lovely hollowed out barrel, I love that. And um, got the various sort of storage boxes. You've got a detail on the uh, commander's um, cupola here at the top. Um, as I said, some of the differences here for um, the gun barrel and uh, wheels. Um, de good detail there, good nuts and bolts on the, uh, um, or the bolts, I should say, on the uh, wheel hubs there, return wheels and idlers and all the rest of it, they all look uh, nicely detailed. And then you've got those uh, really nice, uh, nicely modded crisp hatch um, uh, fastenings that you can see here, hinges and the like. Um, two options for the tracks, which I think is great. You either can use the rubber vinyl, classic sort of rubber vinyl option, or you can go with the uh, mixture of individual track links and lengths uh, in the hard plastic, which you can, you can add here. Uh, nice touch, I think, with the kit is the fact they've included photo etch. Uh, really good job that by uh, Airfix for that grill on the back of the uh, hull uh, on the top deck. And then you've got a little uh, decal sheet, which is uh, a nice touch uh, again there, which is good. Good quality decals. They always are with Airfix these days, which is excellent. And of course, the little poly caps. Instruction sheet, well, that's um, classic in terms of uh, breakdown. Very straightforward stuff. Um, not a lot to say about it really. I think I'm sure if you just follow the instructions um, and your own preferred method of building uh, a tank in kit form, you won't go far wrong. It's not a complicated build. It's pretty straightforward by the look of it. Um, I would think this would be a great entry level um, tank uh, to build if you're not that uh, used to armor, If you are, even if you are used to armor. Um, you know, it's going to be a great addition and I'm sure you'll be interested as much as I am to see whether and how it all goes together, um, given that uh, it's an Airfix new tool. A um, couple of decent schemes, I like this one, uh, with the black and uh, khaki drab for a cruiser tank Mark 8, Cromwell Mark 4, uh, British Army, Europe 4445, that's the 2nd Battalion 1st Czechoslovak Independent Brigade Group, uh, no less. Or you've got um, an overall khaki drab um, uh, cruise tank Mark 8, Chroma Mark 4, British Army, Europe 44-45, Second Squadron, 10th Mounted Rifle Regiment, 1st Polish Army Division. So a couple of good choices there uh, for you to pick from. So overall, I really like the look of this. I think it's a nice, uh, nice kit. It's going to be really interesting to see how it all goes together. I hope you enjoyed the build. We're going to try and bring you both builds of both of the releases uh, if we possibly can, as soon as we possibly can. So there we go, that's, um, that's it. And uh, that is Airfix's um, 35th scale, Cromwell Mark VI.